We have pretty insane news today. Like an update that will change the platform, our role is giving him a huge problem and more. Subscribe please and let's get into it. I saw something pretty random but also insane. Popular YouTuber Axori, I don't know how to pronounce it. But anyways, he was gifted a Rolex by Bloxroots. Since he's very prominent in the community, it makes a lot of popular videos on the game. Now, if you're not aware why this is insane, Rolex is a very premium and expensive watch brand. The watch you got is probably in the thousands. I think the cheapest Rolex is like a few thousand. So the watch you got could literally be like 10 grand or more. Some Rolexes are literally like 6 figures though, but I'd have to spend that much. Unless they did, that would just be wild. But it's pretty cool to see a Rolex game giving back to creators who helped them. This is a pretty extreme case, but nonetheless, massive respect to Blocks Roots. And next we have some more random stuff. Some users are reporting that they just got an option to buy 22,500 Robux. Now I don't know if I'm being dumb, but I thought this was always here. But apparently it's region based, so some people already had this and some didn't. Unless it's completely new, but I don't think it is. Now the reason they're probably updating and changing it for some people, is because the upcoming changes with Robux and gift cards. If you don't know yet, they're making so gift cards now defaulted to your local currency. Before it was only USD. So for example, before if I buy a $10 gift card in Canada, it'd give me USD rates for Robux. It'd be $10 USD even though I bought it in Canada with Canadian money. But now, if I buy a $10 gift card in Canada, it is in Canadian dollars and Canadian rates. This also means that for some people, Rolex will be cheaper, and for some it will get more expensive. It all depends where you live. By the way, this all happening in the beginning week of April 24th, that's what they said. So you still have some time, but it's coming soon. And next thing into an update that will change Roblox. So a little bit ago, it was announced that Rolex is working on it will be adding AI features for development. And it's already here in beta. You can now use AI for Rolex games. Whether that be to generate something like a new texture, or help with coding. Here's an example. This person put into the AI to make new material a sponge job, and that's exactly what it did. That actually seems to work pretty well. But this brings up another problem of copyright. How will they moderate and handle copyright with this? Because as we just saw, people can degenerate copyrighted stuff. And we've seen many times before of companies being mad at Roblox, stuff like this. So if Roblox isn't careful, it could actually get them in trouble for copyright. I'm also wondering if people could bypass with this. I feel like they still need to work on a lot of moderation before they fully release this. Because it's a very dangerous yet powerful tool that people take advantage of. Now obviously this is a bit controversial. Some people think this is great. Some people think this sucks because it would just produce lazy and copied games. The one good thing about this though is, for the Cody side of things, it doesn't seem to be too bad. It can help finish and write code, which could be really helpful. And next we have some interesting news. So Flamingo recently has been talking a lot about doing stuff outside the Roblox space. Firstly, he tweeted this out as a joke, but some people actually freaked out and thought he was quitting YouTube. He isn't. But then he started streaming on Twitch, and he expressed how much he's been enjoying this. And with all this, Albert had a new idea. He said how he wanted to make a new non-Roblox and non-gaming channel, where he just talks and rants about whatever. So he's not leaving the Roblox space, I saw some people concerned. But Albert definitely wants to do more stuff on the side that's not just Roblox, and that's totally cool. So many excited by this announcement too, since it'd be more real. So yeah, what do you think about this? Rolex creators doing side projects away from Roblox and doing stuff they're passionate about. I think it's a pretty cool and great idea. If you enjoyed, check out this video too, and I'll see you in the next one.